My name is Angelina and I grew up in the coldest part of Russia, Siberia. My new home is a much sunnier place. Welcome to Gold Coast, Queensland. When I moved to Australia with my family, and it was a complete like, shock, because there's the people lovely and everyone is smiling. It was our first time when we saw the beach. Oh, you just can't explain. There's like so many emotions. We all cried and oh, shared that moment. So my favorite thing living in Gold Coast would be that I don't have to dress up like dress so many clothes or like layer of clothes compared to Russian. He just put shorts and t-shirt and it'd be fine. And you have so like easy access to the beach at any time of the day. I mean, just amazing. So I went to Kibra Park State High School, which is an international school. We had a teacher named Mrs. Murray. She is our English teacher and she came from Germany. That's why it was a bit easy for me to understand her because I couldn't speak English at all when I came to Australia. So she was really helping me with everything. Like whenever I asked help or whenever I didn't understand and I didn't understand for about a year. <laughs> from your lovely students, Nan, Anna, June, May, Shahar and Angelina. How great. <laughs> Thank you for keeping this. Really yeah, I, it, I clearly remember when Angelina first started, so she had just arrived from Siberia and it was a massive culture shock. It was so hot, <laughs> it was incredibly hot compared to where she came from and everything was different. And she just took it up, she was so open-minded, motivated, enthusiastic. I remember how gifted she was with her music as well. It's not just about the language, it's about the culture, it's meeting people, real people. Just dive in. Yes, you will make mistakes, but that's fine. If we don't make mistakes, we can't learn. So, nothing to be scared of. It's just a big adventure, really. Finishing grade 12 was my probably biggest achievement my whole life. So I was really proud of myself by that time. It was easy for me to enroll in university because I had so much support from everywhere, from all the teachers. Comparing to Russia, where we have everything in one building, it's literally like maybe like four, five floors. But in Australia, they have everything like, you know, cafes, little like parks, swimming pool, tennis courts. It's like a little town. All right, tell me what you think is going on as we drive West. So at Griffith University, I study a Bachelor of Criminology and Criminal Justice. Griffith University School of Criminology and Criminal Justice is routinely ranked in the top three criminology programs in the world. You learn from the best, you get to work with the best, and I don't think anybody else in Australia can say that they have the same breadth of knowledge that we do or the depth of knowledge that we do. One of the things about Griffith that really, I think, makes us stand apart is the partnerships that we have in the criminal justice industries. They told me about that group, which is Criminology Association, and it's almost like I can join so many excursions, such as Water Police. We can tap on any of those boats and we can see their details. So we went down on the boat and we explore like what they have inside, like technologies and all the displays. This is called a black ship. What that means is if we need to be covert, we need to, so no one can see us, we can hit that and it'll turn all our running lights off so that we're just in darkness and we're invisible, almost. The university really helped me to be prepared after graduation and it's really motivates me to join police in the future or become a police license officer. That's probably my dream job. For example, I can speak Russian, so if someone in the Russian community needs some help with legal or domestic abuse or something else, they can ask me to help them and solve their problem. If you're planning to come to Australia and study as an international student, I would definitely recommend to do it. Don't be afraid. Take all the opportunities that comes to you. When I literally go to Australia, I fell in love and no regrets. Mm -hmm.